Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another home project, garden project, yard project. So if you caught my last video where I went over kind of plan ideas and I asked for your help for my side yard, which is currently just a giant wasteland, <laughs> field of weeds, field of weeds. Um, we were going over all the different ideas and plans that I had for that space. Some really big plans, some little plans, some future plans, some things that I have no idea what to do with. Um, we're just, we're kind of working on that space in a big way that I was not planning to. So this year, the first step of that is I am buying a shed. I'm getting a shed for that space. It's going to go at the back of the space towards um, the shade, which will be around the side here. Um, and I am going today to put the deposit down on my shed and just pick out the colors, all the fun things. And so I thought I would take you along with me. You know, we did a whole series when I bought my house, which is a Lula May manufactured house by Buccaneer. A shed is not as big and exciting, but I know for me, when I started looking up sheds and buying a shed, it was kind of hard to find information specifically for what I was doing. Um, so as always, I just thought I would bring you along. We are going to start by going over to the place where I'm purchasing the shed. I did a lot of legwork already, so I have called six, seven, eight, nine different places. I've gotten lots of quotes. I've gotten quotes on three, four, five different style buildings, different sized buildings. So after all of that legwork, I have decided to buy an eight by 12 utility shed. Um, I'm adding two windows. And I think that will be the perfect size for a little workshop. So we're gonna put my miter saw, all my big tools that I use that like when we did the laundry room cabinet build, we literally had sawdust flying around the living room for weeks afterwards, like almost months. So this is going to be a workshop first and foremost, but it's going to be a multi-functional space. So it also needs to be storage. It needs to be a filming location because we're going to be filming tutorials in there. It also needs to be um, a potting shed and, you know, space for garden things because it's literally A, in the garden, but B, the second half of the plan that hopefully we'll be able to do in June is to put some raised beds in front of the shed for um, cut flowers and for vegetables. And so since the two spaces are going to be next to each other, they do need to be, um, you know, working as one unit in some capacities. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Head over to the plan video if you want to chime in on what I should do with the space because the shed is the first piece and short of I know I want a shed and I know I want raised beds, I'm not really sure what to do with the rest of it. So I need your help. Today though, we only are focusing on the shed. So I'm going to bring you along with me. We're going to look at the sheds. We're going to put the deposit down on the shed um, and it's just going to be a fun day. I will go over at the end. I think I will sit back down with y'all and I'm just going to go over a list of all the questions that you might want to ask if you're also looking at purchasing a shed. Some of these I found a generic list online that was kind of a start. Some of them were personal questions that I had and some of them were questions that my dad or mom had that they wanted me to ask because when, when I don't know something, I ask. I ask people who know more than me. And my mom and dad are the first top on that list. <laughs> and then um, some of them are questions, you know, that have just come up in the process. So if you want to just see the, the list of shed questions you might want to ask, I will put a timestamp below so that you can jump to that and skip this part and skip, I guess, go into the lot. Because Cinnamon and I are going to go to the lot and we're going to look at the sheds and we're going to buy one. We're going to buy a shed. Let's stop talking about it. Let's go do it. Come on, baby. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I'm here. This is the lot where I am purchasing my shed. 
So we have already walked all around with an umbrella because when we got here, it was raining. I will show you the shed that I came to purchase, which is over there. And I will show you the one I ended up purchasing, which is right here. So the reason we came today that we've been waiting is because they were, they were having a bit of a discount day today for everything that was on the lot. So I was going to have a shed built, the eight by 12, but today if you came and they had something on the lot you liked, there was a discount. So I ended up buying this shed. You can see it is blue, the white roof and white trim has two windows and double doors inside. It's quite a bit bigger than the one I was looking at. Dun, 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 dun. So this is where we're going to be doing all of our projects from now on. And so this is what they have inside all of the sheds, which is the cash price, sales tax, and the total cash price. But if you come on a date like today, it was quite a bit less for what I ended up with. The price between this shed and the other one um, ended up being about $1,500 to bump up from the eight by 12 to this, which is a 10 by 16 utility shed with the side door. So it has two doors side by side and the windows on either side. So this should let a lot of light in for filming. The other one that we were looking at, I will go show you, but it only had one door. So I'm very excited. The other benefit is that since it is on the lot, like this is it, this is the exact shot I bought. I'm going to be getting it in like two weeks instead of six weeks. So you can see all the colors. This is the blue. It has the white roof. If we go do, 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 I don't know that you'll be able to see it, but all the way down here is the mint color. Those were the two colors I was looking at. There it is. And it's very pretty, but I just decided um, if I was gonna buy one on the lot, this was the one I liked. And the mint, if I'm ordering, was just a little more obtrusive. So this is the original size shed I was looking at. So you can see it's a utility shed, same design, but the door is on the side instead of in the middle here. And the plan was to get the one door, two windows on the side, and it is, I mean, it is big enough for what I need, but it is just not nearly as big as the other one. So I'm very excited. In two weeks when this baby is delivered, I will bring you guys along. We will do an entire, um, you know, set up and delivery video like we did for the house. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and go home. Actually, we're gonna go to a flower nursery and then go home. And I will sit down and tell you guys all the questions that I've had and a few more that I just came up with while talking to her and ordering my shed. All right, y'all, so we are back at home. Um, it is actually the next day. By the time we got back from buying the shed, it was a little late. But I figured I'd sit down um, with my computer and my notes and we would just go over a few of those questions. So like I said, when I started buying my shed, I just really had no idea where to start. So the first question I had was, where do you buy a shed? <laughs> like if you haven't bought a shed before, you've probably seen lots of sheds on the side of the road or you've seen sheds at a box store or you've seen sheds on Facebook Marketplace. Um, there are lots of different places to buy a shed and I, it just is going to depend on what you're looking for. So you can find a shed used that you'll have to transport yourself, set up yourself, 
um, like from Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or somebody in your community that is an older shed maybe that's really cheap but a really good value that you can fix up yourself. Um, when you do that, again, you're going to have to do all of that delivery and labor yourself, so that may not be an option for you. I, I mean, mom and I have a trailer. We go get all kinds of stuff. We deliver stuff. I don't think we could, we, we don't have the wherewithal to transport a shed. Um, so then the next question is, you know, if you're not going to go the least inexpensive route, what's your other steps? So you can go to a big box store and um, somewhere like Home Depot, you can buy a shed from. You could buy anything from a smaller plastic shed that you just snap together um, to even kind of outdoor small storage buildings. I thought about just getting literally not even a shed, but kind of like, I don't know, a four foot by four foot little shed to go on the side of my house. And that would be great for storing things like shovels or tools, but it's not a workshop. You can even get um, a kit for about $2,000, so they're not that much. Um, for a larger 8x10, 10x16 shed, you've probably seen them in the parking lot of these big box stores. But in that situation, you have to level the ground yourself if you want blocks or a foundation down, you need to put that down yourself. And then you have to actually construct the shed yourself. Or you have to pay someone to do it. So I did call Home Depot and I got a quote from them. Um, and when you get a quote from Home Depot on them building your shed, it ends up being almost the same amount, in my area at least, as buying a shed that can be installed and delivered from a shed company. Um, I also got a quote from the, the guy who built my front and back steps. They are custom built. It's actually one of my friend's husbands who has a small construction company. Um, I got a quote from him on if I bought the shed and he built it, how much would that be? And again, it was almost the same as if I just went to a shed company. So then you have these places they can be on the side of the road, they can be in town, they're shed companies. So they're places that for the most part, they build sheds, they build chicken coops, they build dog kennels, they build small buildings, and they will build them, bring them to you, or sometimes if you have a, a larger project, they will come out and build it on your property. Um, and so these places typically have fairly competitive prices, but I called nine or 10 shed companies in my area in the three surrounding towns. And I found that for an eight by 12 shed or a 10 by 16 shed, which were the two sizes I was looking at, the prices varied greatly anywhere from three to 4,000 up to 10,000. So, I mean, do your research. Don't go to the first place. You also want to ask about the warranty. So whether you're getting, I mean, if you're buying something on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, y'all, you're not getting a warranty, okay? But if you're buying something from Home Depot or if you're buying something from a shed company, there should be a warranty of some kind. Now, not all warranties are the same. Some of the places I called just had a warranty on um, materials, whereas some had a warranty on materials and labor, which means if they come out and install your shed, they deliver it for you and they screw it up. If you don't have warranty on labor, good luck with that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a end of the road deal breaker, but these are the questions that you want to ask off the bat. What size are you looking for? What style are you looking for? What's the warranty? How much is the cost? Now, the other thing to know is that a utility shed and a side utility shed are very similar, but the door is different. If you buy a utility shed from one company or from another, there's a hair on my face. Whew. They could be slightly different styles. So make sure you either look at their brochure, you go to the lot and you talk to them, you step foot in a similar building, you know exactly what style you're looking for, whether that's a garden shed or a utility shed 
or a side lofted barn, um, whatever it is you're looking for. Now I ended up looking for a utility shed. Um, I wanted a side door utility shed, but they were more expensive. So the eight by 12 utility shed, the smaller version I was looking at was a utility shed. And it has that big door on the side that you could like drive a small um, four wheeler in or a lawn mower in, okay? Um, the one I purchased, the 10 by 16, is a side utility and it has the double doors and the two windows on front. Also keep in mind that if you want windows for me filming in a shed, lighting, lighting is very important for a video. Not all sheds have windows. So if you want windows, ask. And then depending on whether you're getting one on the lot, if you're getting one on the lot, it's kind of, it is what it is and you either accept it or you don't. Or if you order one, if you order one, you could have windows put everywhere. However many windows you want, but you will pay for them individually and ask how much because one company I called quoted me $63 for a three by five window. One company I called quoted me $300 for a three by five window. They will also quote you different prices for a three by five window versus a two by three window. They also can sometimes do a dormer window in the roof or on the top of the doors. You know, there's lots of different options. So the moral of the story is if you don't know, ask, do your research. Um, and that is, that's the main thing that I learned. So that covers where you can buy a shed, <laughs> kind of the questions to ask about the style and the windows. From there, you can move on to things like not all different companies have the same colors. Some um, had more basic colors, like four or five, and they were all very neutral. Another company that I really wanted to buy from sent me mock-ups of a pink shed with a copper roof. And obviously I should have a pink shed with a copper roof. Unfortunately, that company, despite me calling them several times over the course of three weeks, were the very last company to get me a quote. Everyone else got me a quote within one or two days. They took two weeks to get me a quote. And then I emailed them back. And, um, sorry, I just got a text message. Um, I emailed them back and after two weeks to get a quote, it took another four days to get an answer to my question. Emailed them back a second time and I still, to this day, three weeks later, have not gotten an, an answer. And yes, I've called, yes, I've stopped by. So, I mean, to me, as much as I wanted that pink shed with a copper roof, that's not a company I want to do business with because, you know. <laughs> um, so then from there, there's the question of, again, order versus the lot. You can order a shed, whatever style, whatever size, whatever combination of windows and gables that you like, and that's going to add up because you're going to pay all those custom prices. Now, originally that was my plan um, because I'd asked several different places, do you have anything on the lot like I would want? And what would the prices on the lot versus custom ordering be? And they just didn't have what I wanted. But if you can find a model on the lot that you like, typically that is going to be a cheaper option. I did eventually, um, the shed I purchased that I showed you is on the lot and that's because they ended up having that special sale on it. And if I hadn't done weeks worth of research, I wouldn't have been able to A, know that was a good deal and B, be available when they were ready to sell it at that price because if I had just gone to the first place I saw and bought the first shed I bought, um, found, it would not have been that one and it would have been way more. So there you go. Next question. Okay, so that's kind of my general advice of what I've learned throughout this process. I did pull up a couple questions. Um, online or things that my parents have told me to ask and I'm just going to go through those real quick. 
So the first one is how far away do you deliver and is there a fee? So several of the places that I went to deliver within 10 miles or within 20 miles or within 30 miles for free. If you got outside of like a 15 mile radius, there would be a fee. So that is another thing to take into consideration. If you find a shed an hour away in a different town, that's a great price. That delivery fee may not be great. Um, so keep that in mind. They also may deliver, but have an installation fee or they may install, but not do anything to the land. And you may need to level and prep the space first. So ask all of those questions because that none of that may be a deal breaker, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Place I ended up purchasing from, not only delivered um, without a fee, installed without a fee, they did prep the space um, without a fee. They did not really level the land at all. They simply install the shed on a on blocks, which to me is not the best solution. Um, you could pay for a more permanent solution, but since I'm not going to be here for too much longer, probably another three-ish years, um, that wasn't a deal breaker for me. I did ask about moving the shed. I can move it in three years, and at that time, I'll put it on a permanent foundation. But if you're looking for a permanent foundation, you need to know, do you need to do that before the shed comes, or is that something they offer? How much of a deposit is required? Okay, so you can either pay for the shed outright, and in that case, a 10% deposit was required at my location, and the rest of the fee was required upon delivery. So that means 10% upfront when they deliver the shed, you give them a check or cash or money order for the rest of the balance. Or if you're financing the shed, you put 5% down, and you set up a payment schedule for the rest of the shed. If you did a payment schedule at my location, um, it was time and a half. So if the shed was $10,000, it would be $15,000 by the time you were done paying it off. So obviously paying for a shed outright, upfront, cash in hand is not an option for everyone. But it sounds like if that is an option, it is much more affordable in the long run. And not everyone I asked had those terms between the deposit, between the appreciation of the shed over time. So ask. Next question is which payment offers options do you offer? I believe most of the places I went had a 20, 30, 35 year loans. Um, most of the places you go that sell sheds that are shed companies do not require a credit check and they approve everyone, which is great if that's what you need. But keep in mind that if they are not checking your credit and they are just approving you willy nilly, like you're their best friend, time and a half, they are charging you interest for that. They are charging you a large portion of interest for that. So, you know. Not saying not to buy the car, I'm just saying look under the hood. Can you build on site or do you offer delivery only? If you're purchasing a large building, you may prefer them to build on site on your foundation. That's a much sturdier way to build a frame than to deliver it on a truck. For me, for the sheds that I was looking at, that wasn't necessary. Do I need a building permit? Some places. Even in town, in city limits, require you to have a building permit to have a shed. Double check. And how long will it take to receive my shed? Of course, if you're ordering a shed on the lot versus a um, custom order, that's going to be quicker. Since I purchased mine on the lot today, you were there, um, it's coming in two weeks. And two weeks is the longest that it could take. Now, after I bought this house and they said, X amount of time and it was like three times that. I'm not expecting it for maybe three weeks, maybe four, but I'll keep you uh, appraised <laughs> and we'll see. <laughs> Either way, that was all the questions that have come up in my research and that I've personally had. If you have any though, leave them down below and I will answer them.
until then, I'm gonna go do a shed dance because I'm very excited. Bye y'all.